Alright, so here we go again. Um, it's time to read Genesis chapter 2. That little side note. I don't know about the randoms. I don't know. I think we're on random 29, but... Who knows when the next one's going out. over here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Thus the heavens and the and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day of all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because it because that in it he had rested from all his work from which God created in him <laughs> whoops which God created and made these are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day of the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant the field before it was in the earth and the and every herb of the field for it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was no and there was not a man to till the ground but there went up a mist from earth and watered the whole face of the ground and God and the Lord and the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the and man became a, a living soul and the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden and there he put a the man whom he had formed and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is present to the side and good for food and the tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil and a river went out of Eden to water the garden and from there it was parted to become into four heads the name of the first is Brit is it? That is which compasseth the whole land of where there is gold. And the gold of the land is good. But there is um and the onyx stone. The name of the second river is Gion. The same is that compassive the whole land of Ethiopia. Ethiopia. The name of the third river is Hedgeel. That is it which goeth toward the east of Bashara and fourth river is Ephrens and the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it and the Lord God commanded the man saying every of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat but the tree of the but the tree of the kingdom of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day thou that thou eatest thereof, and thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air 
and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names unto all the cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to the beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found and help me make for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh therein, thereof, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she taketh out man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked the man and the wife and we're not ashamed that's the whole chapter right there if you don't believe me you can go and read yourself that's the whole chapter um, see ya